And it's estimated that by the end of this year, already three quarters of US households would have smart speakers. That's, that's insane. Another big tipping point that is expected to happen this year is in search space. It's expected that this will be the year when actually most of the searches will happen through voice. So more voice-based searches than text-based searches. And that's quite a fundamental shift in behavior in such a popular use case as, as searching. And when we talk about commerce, that, that's kind of the industry that brought us here today, it's expected in a couple of years' time, in the US alone, the, the voice commerce market is going to be $40 billion. So it's, it's quite huge. But you probably all tried the voice technologies and you've talked to people who use voice technologies. There's a lot of hype, there's a lot of super high expectations, but the reality is something very different. When you talk to people using these technologies, people are not super excited or, or just you know, amazed, just preaching about them. They are like, okay, it's, it's nice, it's okay. And there seems to be a, actually a pretty huge gap between the expectations of people and the reality. And that was actually one of the key reasons that, that led us originally to start Speechly. Because we realized that, that the current technology out there in the market uh, basically the, the big, big players everybody, everybody knows, that technology was great for, for solving simple tasks like you know, easy, simple remote commands or, or basically retrieving information, but it wasn't really tailored or designed to solve more complex user, uh, user tasks or user problems. So that meant that, that it couldn't solve the really the high value, valuable, uh, problems that users had. And that was one of the reasons where we originally already had our belief that, that uh, for the real killer application for voice, which ha we have not yet seen, we have just seen a lot of hype, for that to emerge there needs to be technology that actually allows you to, be more, to build more intuitive, more real-time and more multimodal voice user, voice user interfaces. So that's, that's basically what, 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 what has led us to this point. When you talk about voice, the thing that people mention is, okay, well, you're going to build an Alexa skill or you're going to um, integrate with, with Google or whatever. So some of the things that I have to consider in thinking about that is Amazon in particular and, and Google as well, the ownership of that and the ownership of the customer. So if we were to build an Alexa skill, we're basically handing Amazon a lot of information about our customers, what they buy, the really valuable information that we have as a grocer around uh, the rewards program, we know on a product level what you buy, how often you buy it, um, and to integrate with one of them, that risk is definitely there. So we, we really, really need to consider that quite deeply as that if that's something we're going to do. So um, what we've done, there was two things I, want, I wanted to learn basically. So I want to try and make an informed decision about this and whether that is the right way to go. Um, and we've been working with the speech you guys now for maybe I suppose we got into it maybe six months ago and we started to build what I'm going to demo to you now in kind of October time, which was ready for, for Christmas. And what I'm trying to test is we've built a very simple uh, voice interface, which I'm trying to figure out, does the guy's technology work? The same question that Harry had. Um, and then our users' propensity to use it. So as stated, um, I'm a fan and I think it works and I think it's brilliant. Um, but uh, what do other people think? Um, they, they love it. Um, in my 30 years in retail, uh, this is the, the best and most positive feedback I've ever received from a project. In the App Store, we, we have uh, an average rating of 4.3 uh, stars, which I think is very good. We have excellent reviews, like best innovation since pen and paper, which is not too shabby. Uh, that is one of my personal favorites. Um, we also get a, a lot of feedback directly from, from our customers because the uh, getting feedback has, has been one of the core ideas and, and principles from, from the start. The, in, in the app, um, the, the, there's a sort of feedback button uh, very prominently displayed there on, on the bottom, 
um, and, and the customer feedback is, is really the core. It makes shopping faster, so we are able to help a daily routine, um, which then in turn creates customer loyalty. And I think that is very important. So being able to help in their daily routines, daily lives, they make us happier men and women uh, and happy people. They, they are uh, more loyal and inclined to v visit you again. Um, so in that sense, that is, that is a very important point. definitely something that we could use um, across a lot of our clients um, and looking just to take some of that tedious tasks and get rid of them with something like voice which just feels way more normal for people. Do we build this into our core platform? Um, is it just a gimmick? Is it something that will pass? So really we've been able to work with the guys uh, to very quickly build something, get it out in front of customers and learn uh, whether or not voice is something that our customers want to use. From a, an online only retailer, it's something that we can really use. Um, and even so, in, in the contact centre space, uh, I think we're going to find that, that very useful. One of the, um, the key aha moments, as they described it, was that idea of um, being intuitive, understanding what people are saying as they talk, and then being able to fail quickly. So rather than waiting for a query to go in and then get a response, just being able to search uh, or be able to surface results as you search or as you talk uh, was really, really powerful. It made customers' lives easier. Reduce pain, friction, stress, and, and create more happy people. Help, help them in their everyday lives. And create new potential online customers and help old folks too. Uh, I'm one of them. And so please, use voice. Thank you.